never should have come here. What was that? Where'd you come from? of your payment. Can I... I could help you. He talked to me. He trusts me. You'd like to come downstairs with me, is that it, Kissa? Shall we loose his bonds and put you in a cell together? You can ask him anything you'd like and see how he answers. No, I'll... I'll wait outside. That would probably be best. Now, get out. Can't treat me like that. He needs me. Oh, please. I don't know anything else. Don't you think I'd have told you already? Silence. You know the rules. Do not speak unless spoken to. Master Rolandil will ask the questions. Let's begin again. No, for pity's sake. You know sake. the rules. I've already told you everything. Start at the beginning, as usual. If you persist no, in this stubbornness, wait. I I'll just have catching my breath. Why wouldn't I tell you again? I, I don't even know anything. There's an old man. He lives in Rifton. He could be this Esburn you're looking for, but I don't know. He's old and seem kinda crazy. That's all I know. And his name is. I don't know his name. Like I've already told you a hundred... Oh! You know the rules. Just answer the questions. And where can we find this nameless old man? Oh, like I said, I don't know. I've seen him down in the Ratway. Maybe he lives down there, but I don't know for sure. That will be all for now. I must say I continue to be disappointed in your lack of cooperation. I hope next time you will do better. What else do you want from me? I've already told you everything. <laughs> Listen, if you let me go, I can take you to Rift and show you where... Ah! Oh! Silence, prisoner.
Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence, I'm dead traitor. already. Move slowly. He's got to be here somewhere. Someone there. Never should have come here. Come on. Oh, son of a... I'll have your guts, no!
you're kind of fuzzy. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. We got rooms and f Need a room? Talk to Delphine. We've got something of a love triangle here in Riverwood. Fandel and Sven, both vying for Camilla's affections. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our we Made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as Down promised. With Did you learn anything useful? Of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. Really? That seems hard to believe. Children You're sure Skyrim, about that. And we fight all our lives. And when Sovngarde beckons, every one of us Esbern? dies. He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Ironic, right? The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. The Blades have always guarded and guided the Dragonborn, but we'd forgotten why. Now our purpose is clear. I'm all that's left of the Blades, and you're the Dragonborn. Together, we're going to stop these dragons if we have to put every last one of them back in the ground. The Thalmor happened. They've been hunting down every blade they can find for the past 30 years. Thanks to the White Gold Concordat, they've been able to operate throughout the Empire with impunity. The Great War. Only 30 years passed in already ancient history to most people. Seems to me like it just ended. It's never really ended for me. But to answer your question, the White Gold Concordat was the fancy name they put on the peace treaty between the Empire and the Thalmor. It ended the war and saved the Empire to fight another day. Also trampled on the sacred name of Talos and gave the Thalmor free reign to stamp out Talos' worship throughout the Empire. Hmm, there's no simple answer to that. You want the long version or the short version? They're the High Elves that rule the Eldmeri Dominion, sworn enemies of the Empire and everything it stands for. Thirty years ago, they invaded the Empire and came close to destroying it. They smashed the blades in the process. Since then, they've been working to weaken the Empire any way they can. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. We drink to our youth, to days come and gone, for the age of aggression is... Bow done. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, right, we then. will take back our home.
down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard... Beckons, every one of us dies. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean Of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams Need something? Do you need something? Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? <laughs> Alright, keep your voice down. 
You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. See someone run past just now. Yes. How did you get this? Uh, oh, never mind. Here. It's not much, but it's something. I'm going to track down that thief. Someone Murder him. Something. I cannot rest you. I. Welcome to Riften, home of the Thief's Guild. Or so they'd have you believe. I had another run-in with the Thief's Guild. I don't know you. Careful, you and Riften looking for Thieves trouble? Guild has Maven Blackbriar at her back. One snap of her fingers and you could end up in Riften jail. Yeah? Well, I got What's news for you. There's Maven nothing to see here. here. Last thing the Blackbriars need is some stranger sticking their nose I, where it doesn't belong. I just don't want you to the Blackbriars have rifted in their pocket, and the Thieves' Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Only way you could have found one of those is by stealing it. Guess you'll fit in around here better than I thought. So what do you want to know? Do I look like a merchant to you? You're gonna have to take that up with Vex in the Thieves' Guild. Get in good with them and you'll find her. The only thing I heard is a rumor that a boy named Aventus Aretino in Windhelm has been attempting to contact the Dark Brotherhood. He used to live here in Riften at the orphanage on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. You kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves' Guild, so basically, no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. Be seeing you around. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. New in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Next time, keep your plans quiet, and nothing will happen. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry, eh, lad? Ah, oh, expecting free information, eh? Help me deal with business first, then we'll see how I can help you. Besides, you look like your pockets are a little light on coin. Am I right? And I'm busy. You help me out, and I'll help you out. That's just how it is. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strongbox under a stamp. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Sorry. I usually have a nose for this kind of thing. Never mind then, lad. If you change your mind, come find me. Sure, sure. I'm a dirty beggar. 
Why would you want to even speak to me? Glad to see you finally came to your senses. You're trying my patience, lad. Knowledge in moments. Glad to see you finally came to your senses. Ready to make some coin? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. We've been contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. Do you want me to hold your hand as well? You're going to have to sneak over to Medesi's stall and use your lockpick on the strongbox. Then, when you have the ring, you pickpocket Branche and leave it behind. Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Everyone, eh? Everyone! Here for the fishing, I guess. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. Um, yes? Sorry, I'm not that easy to get rid of. If you want to run ahead, I won't stop you. But I'll be following. No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. Come on, Brynjolf. What is it this time? Patience, Branche. This is a rare opportunity. I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the Wisp Essence, and it turned out to be crushed here, Root. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding, but this item is... about the Snow Elves. The one and only. Mystical beings who live in legends and were masters of great magic. Imagine the power that coursed through their veins. How did you get that then? No one's seen them in years. Time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. What a waste Speak. of time. Damn. I knew I shouldn't have waited. What now? Protect yourself right. Whenever you're ready. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Nah, my organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. Gems, potions, exotic ingredients, I have them all. Arrogant, eh? Play it however you want, but listen up. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. When you come to your senses, find me there, and we'll discuss your future. Looking to 
stay alive. Why take All right, a I'll entertain you a bit more. Yeah, I bet I know your guy. He's hiding out the Ratway Warrens, paying us good coin for nobody to know about. If I have to hold your hand through everything, maybe you aren't cut out for this kind of work. It's under your feet, lad. Just follow the smell. The walls have ears, and you're being tested, lad. We'll talk in the ragged flagon. Come back when you grow a backbone. This is insane. I didn't steal any vegetables. I never... Winter's my life. We can do this one of two ways. You can walk up with me to the keep, or I can drag your lifeless body. Your choice. Beautiful baubles and gleaming gemstones over here. Someone there. I knew Who's there? I knew I heard something. Makes me a little uneasy.
Where'd you come from? What was that? Huh. I suppose I can work with your face. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. I assumed you were here to see me about your face. To have it sculpted into something more artful than nature has bestowed upon you. So, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? Very well. Just tell me what you desire. Beauty or hideous deformity. Nothing is beyond my skill. Hmm? I have not always been a ragged beggar. I learned my art from the masters of the art of flesh sculpture. I studied with the faculty of chirurgeons and cloud rest. I walked with the hollow-faced men of Notohogra for three years. I counted the nobility of both the Empire and the Dominion among my clients. 
And yet, I have fallen so low that I must justify myself to a wanderer in the sewers of this backwater of the world. Change it. I can remake your face, if that's what you desire. I do not practice my art for free, however. I doubt you can afford my services. You have the sm- Indeed. It is no small thing to submit yourself to the flesh sculptor's knife. I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, well. This one out for Color yourself. me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Bursi Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Barb, and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Helga is a devout follower of Debella, and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage, and she'll cave. He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. I'll be here when you're done. I'm busy. Don't you have something to do? I'm busy. Don't you have something to do? <clears throat> Leave me alone. I'm not here to hold your hand. Figure this one out for yourself. Is someone there? Over here. Where are you?
What now? Go away, go away! Please don't kill me! I knew I heard something. Death is highly overrated. Please don't kill me! This should be good. No more! I yield, I yield! Spare me! Come, oh. right come here, come here, come here, come here! Go away! What? No, that's not me. I'm not Esbin. I don't know what you're talking about. Delphine? How do you... So you finally found her. And she led you to me. And here I am, caught like a rat in a trap. Ah, indeed. Indeed. Uh, I do remember. Delphine really is alive, then. You'd better come in, then, and tell me how you found me, and what you want. Th this'll just take a moment. This one always fits. There we go. Only a couple more. There we are. Come in, come in. Make yourself at home. That's better. Now we can talk. <clears throat> so, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. I thought she'd have realized it's hopeless by now. I tried to tell her years ago. Haven't you figured it out yet? What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Alduin has returned, just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time, 
who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger, here or in the afterlife. Alduin will devour all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Ah, I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. Yes, yes. You see, you know, but you refuse to understand. Oh yes, it's all been foretold. The end has begun. Aldrin has returned. Only a dragonborn can stop him. But no dragonborn has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us to our fate as the plaything of Aldrin the World Eater. What? You are? Can it really be true? Dragonborn? Then... Then there is hope. The gods have not abandoned us. We must... We must... We must go. Quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. But give me just a moment. I must gather a few things. I'll need... Uh, no. Put my annotated annual. Did you hear that? Hasn't she told you? We were both blades, back when that still meant something. Now we are just fellow fugitives from the Thalmor. I didn't know she was still alive, but I'm not surprised. She was a survivor. Well, they've been hunting down blades since the Great War, on general principle. But if you mean me, now in particular, maybe they've started to get an inkling of what the return of the dragons means. I don't suppose there? they want the world to end any more than we do. Well, good. They're gone. I'm gonna eat well tonight, my darling. Say something? It was a cold day. The end of Frostfall is nearly winter in the Gerald Mountain. Who's there? So it wasn't my imagination. I think they're gone.
Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. Meddling in the Thalmorus of Let's get indoors, or in a cave, anywhere, just... Spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. Yes. What do you need, Dragonborn? Delphine. <laughs> I it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. This way. Let's see what Esbern has to say. Now then, I assume you know about... Oh yes, Dragonborn, indeed, yes. Oh, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose, so we must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern, what? Give me just a moment. Oh. Ah, here it is. Come, let me show you. You see, right here, Skyhaven Temple, constructed around one of the main Akaviri military camps in the Reach, during their conquest of Skyrim. Do you know what he's talking about? Shh! This is where they built Aldrin's Wall, to set down and stone all their accumulated dragon lore, a hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. A wise and foresighted policy, in the event Despite the far-reaching fame of Aldwin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world, its location was lost. Esbern, what are you getting at? You mean, you don't mean to say you haven't heard of Aldwin's Wall? Either of you? Let's pretend we haven't. What's Aldwin's Wall, and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? Aldwin's Wall was where the ancient blades recorded all they knew of Aldwin and his return. Part history, part prophecy. 
Its location has been lost for centuries, but I have found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. The Blades archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Yes. What is it? Alduin's wall was created by the ancient Akaviri Dragon Guard, the forerunners of the Blades. One of the lost secrets of the Blades, where they recorded all they knew of Alduin and his return, part history, part prophecy. Its location was lost for centuries, but I know where it is. Skyhaven Temple, an ancient blade sanctuary hidden within the cracks of the reach. It's the prophecy, don't you see? Only a dragonborn can stop Alduin and avert the end of the world. But I don't yet know how you can stop him. The prophecy doesn't say. But Alduin's wall does, I hope. Ah, yes. The entrance seems to be near what's now known as the Karth Spire. We'll have to see what we find when we arrive. Very good. I'll trust you to get there in one piece. Don't be long. Well, yes. But there's no guarantee, of course. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. I know the area of the reach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Karth Spire in the Karth River Canyon. We can meet you there or all travel together. Your call. From Riverwood, the road south through Falkreath is the most direct route. Or you could catch the carriage from Whiterun to Markarth and then approach from the west. Either way, the reach is wild country these days. The Forsworn are everywhere. Best be careful. Always, let's go see if we can find this Sky Haven Temple. What now? Orgnard, this is it. The inn is yours. I'm probably never coming back here. Well now, that's something to think about. Take care of yourself, Orgnar. Goodbye. Yeah, sure. You too, Delphine. You be safe. Do you need something? Did you need something?
there can be no doubt that you are the dragon lord. Definitely early Akaviri stonework here. We've got to get this bridge down. These pillars must have something to do with it. Yes, these are Akaviri symbols. Here, let's see. You have the symbol for king and warrior, and of course the symbol for dragon. That's the one that appears I was always to taught have to a avoid sort of these types of ruins. I think I see why now. That's it. The symbol on the pillar on the left. Given that Skyhaven Temple was sealed against the return of the Dragonborn, I will try turning all the pillars to that symbol. Whatever you did, it worked. Let's see what those old blades left in our way. Symbols on the floor. Esbern's right. Look like pressure plates. Be careful. We'll cross once it's safe. What is it? Sorry, I'm not that easy to get rid of. If you want to run ahead, I won't stop you. But I'll be following.
Be careful. Cross once it's safe. <laughs> Remarkably well preserved, too. Ah, here's the Blood Seal. Another of the lost Akaviri arts. No doubt triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. If Look here. Help you see how the plan. ancient blades revered Reaper Cyrodiil? It's coming to life! After you, Dragonborn. You should have the honor of being the first to set the There's no telling what we might find inside. Beginning of time, when Alduin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against their Dragon Overlords, the legendary Dragon War. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah. Patience. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, mythic symbol. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragon. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the news of Alduin and his turn. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. You ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive longswords. Now they kneel, their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last dragonborn contained. 
contends with Alduin at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Elfian? You might learn something of our own history. I know the prophecy by heart. One small place, you would. When misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world. When the brass tower walks and time is reshaped. When the thrice blessed fail and the red tower trembles. When the dragonborn ruler loses his throne and the white tower falls. When the snow tower lies sundered, kingless, bleeding. The world eater wakes and the wheel turns upon the last Dragonborn. Yes? What is it? You're in luck. There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slaying dragons. I doubt the blessing's effects last for very long. So ask whenever you're heading out, and I'll perform the proper rites. Very good. Well, I'm gonna look around some more. See what the old blades left for us. Yes, yes, that's an excellent Who knows what the most treasures we have discovered? Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? What I want is irrelevant. 
This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders, being allowed to speak only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way.
grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well.
Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dova King. Why do you intrude here, if not for Tinvark? for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Alduin Komet Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Yes, Alduin, Zembach, the elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome as is so often the case with Firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Mm, true, but Kostid, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Kostid Salo Ark. Just because you can do a thing does not always mean you should. Hm. Do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez, of fate? So perhaps your destiny will be fulfilled, 
who can say? Desmot Mahus, even to the dove who ride the currents of time, destiny is elusive. Alduin believes that he will prevail with good reason, Rockmoor. And he is no fool, need may. Rinnik Gutnol, far from it. He began as the wisest and most far-seeing of us all. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravak Struma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Yes and no, Viknuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelly. Elder Scrolls, as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofar Suryek. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. May ye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. You have it. 
The Kel, the Elder Scroll, Tidkrech, Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Go then. Fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. Honor your courage, Kreef Wolf Akrin. Die now in vain. For Sky! A glorious day, is it not? Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. If Alduin does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours! Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us even now? What did him well? Four of his kin have fallen to my blade alone this day. But none have yet stood against Alduin himself. Gothor, Sori, Birka. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise. I have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Feldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, I will no, not need it. We will deal with Alduin ourselves. Hear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. Let those that watch from Savengard envy us this day! Go on! If I die today, it will not be in terror! 
This contract heard. Be gone, world eater. My words with older bones than your own. We break your perch on this age and send you out. You are banished. Help you out from all our endings unto the last. You are banished. Worked. You did it. Yes. The World Eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. From. Lost fools, you are too late, Aldo. In Sulaki Mulak, Parnax.
blast you, mortal. Lot Kongrach, you truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Nilivrach Hinmoro, true, this is not the final Kongrach victory, but. Not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pachlok, arrogant in his power. Usnagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. Yes, one of his allies could tell us, Matmahus, but it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach, it was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Hmm, yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Yes. This was ages ago, you understand. There were more of us then. Before the Bruniki, the Akaviri came and killed all my Zema. I used to visit him from time to time, nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. Tiraz Sivaz. He did not even remember his own name. I do not know how he came to be caught, but the Bronyun, the Jarl, was very proud of his pet, Pak. The Hofkasayun has been known as Dragon's Reach ever since. Hmm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovakin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus, 
Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the Dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit. Unslad Zi, where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus? Faim, or Yol. In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Solyek, power, you have it, as do all Dove. But power is inert without action and choice. Think of this as the fire builds in your sum, in your breath. Sum Ark Mora. What will you burn? What will you spare? Lok Thum. <laughs> 